Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. And today here we are with the latest network attached storage solution from Terramaster. This is the model F2 210. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check prices and so on and so forth. But talking about prices, they've done a great job in my opinion, of course, which was a few changes here to bring costs down. So in my opinion at this moment, having in mind what's in the market in terms of of network attached storage solutions. This is one of the best machines on the $150 mark. And as you guys will have the chance to see, it has a lot of interesting features. And basically what they did to decrease the price, starting off with that, is that they used to use Intel CPUs all the time. And most of the brands, what they are doing right now is replacing Intel CPUs with ARM CPUs because ARM CPUs are powerful enough to drive these machines, mini computers and so on and so forth, Android TV boxes as we have seen. And this one in particular is using a Realtek 1296. For those of you that follow the channel and know Android TV boxes, you know that we have tested this sock and other machines and it's quite a powerful sock capable of decoding 4K and so on and so forth. So I do believe that it was an intelligent move from Terra Master and all the brands that do this move that they will lower the cost, but keeping the performance high, which is what's right over here. Now we started talking about specifications in terms of RAM, it has one gigabyte of RAM, none upgradable. So have this in mind, if you are looking for a machine for virtualization, virtual machines, then probably not this one. But if you are looking for something for a media server, on MB, Plex, Kodi. Yes, Kodi, we have covered that here on the channel. Centralizing Kodi, this will be more than capable to serve media to those stations. And of course, if we want to save photos, data, more than capable for that. A NASH, and at this moment, I'm sorry about my pronunciation regarding the NAS units, but it's the best I can do. But at this moment, they have a really interesting machine, an entry level machine that's as an advantage from other machines that I've tested, which is it is more than capable to grow with us. Because as always, we will start slowly, but once we discover this and that, we will want to do this and that. And some machines will not allow us to grow. And this one in terms of software, as I will have the chance to share on the next video, it has a lot of space to grow if we want a web server or if we want anything else. Now, starting with the unboxing experience, as I was saying really quickly, we will find the F2 210. Now, Terra Master did not change the way that, that they package things very well protected. Uh, it comes with the NAS unit and of course it also comes with all the accessories that we need. In terms of build quality, exactly the same. This brushed aluminium all around. So it's a solid machine. They did not chip out on the construction. They still use the same as we tested on the past F2 220 and 221. Great machines. Only plastic here on the front and on the front base as well and also plastic at the back. Now at the back in terms of connectivity we will find a ethernet port and by the way for those of you that wonder hey robert can i connect it directly to my computer via usb this is a frequent question sorry but no this kind of storage only works connected to the network we connect it to the network and then after that any device connected to our own network will be able to access if we give the freedom to that because there are safety rules that we can enforce to forbid that as well. So it depends on the scenario, but this is the way that it works for those of you that are wondering. Now we also have two USB 3.0 ports and these are used to back up from the NAS units to a USB drive or from that USB drive to the NAS unit. I will give you a example on the next video when I show you all the details about the dashboard. Now that being said, it also has a 80 millimeter fan at the back which is quite silent but I will also do the test right over here so that you guys can hear it out and in terms of setup for those that never worked with a device such as this one very easy all we need to do is to open these two front base right over here insert the hard drives have in mind to use hard drives dedicated to network attached storage solutions in my particular case I use the Toshiba N300 and I'm really happy with that I've used as well the WD-RED and, and these are 
other discs that I usually suggest because it has a lot of advantages that I will not cover here, but it makes a huge difference between using one of these discs or any other desktop disc. Now, once we have those discs screwed in, now, by the way, this is not my favorite method of putting in discs. There are other methods that we don't need screws, but in this particular case, Terra Master is still using this um, setup right over here. Nothing wrong, nothing bad with it, but I would love to see in the near future a solution with no screws at all, but this is just my opinion. Once we have the discs in place, just put them in, we can turn it on, and after that, all we need to do is to set it up. Now, the instructions, the quick user guide will let us know what we have to do, but basically, we will have a dashboard, and then on that dashboard, we will have a wizard which will guide us to choose our language, the settings, and so on and so forth. So, very easy implementation anyone will be able to set up one of these machines, I don't know, in, five, in 10 minutes, I would say, maybe less. It will take a little bit more time when we are formatting the drives and so on and so forth, then setting up the unit itself. Now, before we finish up, one thing that I would like to share right over here is, in terms of dashboards, the operating system that uh, Terramaster is using at this moment, it's called TOS. 4.1, uh, it's the latest version. I think it's a very polished operating system. And of course, everything always have room for improvement, but they are on the right track. They have a lot of applications that we can use, once again, that we can grow with them. One thing that I would like to share with you as well is the application for our phone is very, very complete, which is one of the things that I want to show you as well on the next video. So great news right over here in terms of Terra Master, the operating system, getting this unit on the market with a lower price, with great specifications, not sacrificing the performance, as we know the performance of this SOC is great. And that is it, guys. I will shut up for this particular video and I'll see you guys on the next one regarding dashboard interface and the application for our phone. As always, my name is Roberto George. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.